and then crudely knead it. Both be the same as last, last it's, week. It's going to be yeah? the same as last week, but with a difference. I mean, this part is the same as last week? Yes. Yeah. That's it. How many times did you weave it? I, d I measured three times going west and one time going north. All right. <laughs> uh, just, just three, and then turn it around and do three yeah. the other way. You don't want to mix it too much. Mm. The more you mix it, the more integrated the colours will be, and we kind of don't want that. So, Fair enough. Right. Now, last week we uh, mixed the clay like a Battenberg cake, crudely kneaded it, and then threw something, and that's kind of the result that you'll get. Okay, I, I glazed this just to show you, you can glaze it and how it actually looks. Now what we're going to do today, same thing, but in the middle of throwing, I'm going to cut, and you can see how you get quite a difference in, um, in texture. So I've left a bit at the top, which is the same system as that, but just by cutting little bits off it, you will get um, that sort of thing. Now, so, so I'm going to demonstrate this method here where you slice a bit off. You know, I even did my nails last week, especially when you didn't cut. <laughs> That's moved, hasn't it? I'm going to leave it reasonably thick because I'm going to be cutting the walls away. So. I think this is actually broken, but it, it does work. It, it's going to cut quite a fine line. Um, I'm going to do it from the, the bottom up. Just very, very gently, just cut it. I'm just really skimming it off here. Actually, it looks cool that way too. Be a wee bit careful you don't go all the way through. But 
usually when you're doing this you do about five or six cuts and the last one you go all the way through the surface which is not the intention.